You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Exciting to bring you another older toy. This one is from the 70s, the late 70s, 1978 to be exact. It is a Tommy toy number 2508 called Fashion Plates. Now, they still make fashion plates. You can find them now. A lot, a lot of times you see them for Barbie or other famous popular brands. But this one was probably one of the earlier ones before it was branded. The kit that helps young designers six and up create fashions. Hundreds, thousands, even millions of fashionable combinations can be created. And as you see, young designers, it doesn't say young girl designers, so boys can do this too. They have some color pictures on the side. The kit that helps you create fashions, yes, hundreds, thousands, millions. So it's repeating that all the way around. But I'm going to turn it over so my plates are going to fall off, but I'll reset them up just so that we can see the back of the box. I always like to check out the whole box. And the copyright is right here, 1978 Tommy Corp. To make your own fashion designs, you first choose a top plate blouse, shirt, etc., and a bottom plate skirt, slack, shorts, etc., and a hairstyle plate. There are 15 different plates to choose from. The next step is to slip a sheet of paper into the fashion plates, frame, and rub with a special crayon. That's that little piece there. This will give you the outline of the figure. And the next step is finally turn the plates over to the textured size and use the colored pencils to color the outfits and give them one of 15 different plaids, checks, or patterns. You can design unique outfits all exactly to your own taste. Everything that's needed is included in this kit. Hundreds, thousands, even millions of combinations can be made for young fashion designers ages 6 and up. I wonder if there's a million combinations. Hmm. There's 15 plates. There's, hmm, interesting. That's a math equation, which I'm not going to do for you now. So actually, I'll leave it like this. When I come back, I'll reset it up and then take it out of the box. All right, here we go. The only thing I don't have with this original set is that box with the original pencil. So I had to replace them. And let's take a look at it. All right, so... I added some colors. I actually found two browns and a peach, which is good, I guess. And then some other colors there. And then, uh, so here's the fashion plates. Now what you do is you flip this up, of course, and you put in a plate, and I'll show them all to you in a second. Like this would be the bottom half, then this plate would go here, and then you would put her head there. I guess this is just a quick run through. And then I cut some pieces of paper in half so they weren't too big and they fit right over my section here. Okay, and then little stoppers there where you'd stop it. And then you put that down and then you take this here and then this would go over this and it's a crayon, look at that. And now you've traced your design. Actually, now you've made your design, and this is what this looks like. So there's a crayon in there. You could replace that with a regular crayon. And then now you're set. You could take this off of this if you want. Or, believe it or not, here's the special patterns on the backs of these. So if you want, uh, well, you don't want her legs to have that pattern. But you could do it this way, too. Or you could just take these out probably and trace them underneath. I mean, not trace. I keep saying trace. You're not really tracing. You're filling in the line. So if I wanted to take this blue skirt with this pattern, I don't know if you could see it. I'll show them out to you in a second. You would just take this over this, fit it where you need it, and then color over this. And then you would get the pattern in the outfit. See that? Okay. So now we've at least got the basic premise down. Let's take a look at all the plates. They're actually different sizes too. These kind of look the same, but they are not. These are a little bit bigger. These are the heads. Okay, so here's all the heads. And then here is the middle sections if you're not going to use the medium sized plates. So you would use these. Now the medium sized plates. These can go right on these. They fit right into this area here. So you don't have to mix them up double. So you can put that with that, just like that, okay? So 
take a look at them and I'll flip them all over because they do have pretty cool textures on them. There's more of these now. This was a deeper section. The, the legs, skirt, pants, probably like a little dress, a long dress, another knee high skirt, and then a much higher skirt. There you go. Okay. And then the backs, you can see all the textures now. Well, let me do this. Let me move this in, give you a little closer look at everything. How's that? Okay. Can I get them all in there? Can you see them all? I think so. Let's do this. Okay, now you get a nice look at everything. Now I'll carefully flip over each one so you can kind of see the patterns. So I guess a million combinations, I guess it's it's possible because you could just do one piece of a blouse, each texture, part of a texture, there's a lot you could do. Okay, so this is little dots now. And then these even these big ones have texture, see? Now they are all turned over. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this all back, but I will come back after it's all back together, come back, and then I will continue to do some more drawings. All right, let's mix and match. So we've done this short skirt, which was this one. So I'm not going to redo that one. I'll leave that one out for now. Let's pick up a pair of pants. Here we go. And then I will take the top half tennis player because that looks like a going out to play tennis kind of outfit. Okay. And then you just do this. I get her feet in there, huh? Got them all in there. Okay, it's probably time to replace that, you know. All right, so now if I want to add some texture to those pants, I think that looks pretty good. And texture to the shirt, that looks pretty good too. I'm going to put it back in. It should be enough because it's the whole plate. And then I'm going to make her pants. Let's see. I think green. Is green a good going out color? What do you think? So if I do the green. Then you would just keep going and going and going, coloring as you as you see fit. And being as detailed as precise as you want. I might not be as detailed as you are. I just uh, doing a little demonstration here, not necessarily showing you if I have any coloring skills. You all know where I stand there. If you've watched the videos, okay. All right. There we go. There is. Here, let me do this much different perspective. Maybe this lets you see differently. So now I'll come with, uh, do the orange. How's orange look for her shirt? Do you think orange is a good color to match that? I mean, it's really depending on this was stars. I think I want to do a color on her collar too. Here, how about this? She has got now a green collar to match her pants. Now is that style it or what? Now you can do her skin tone any color you want. So I'm gonna do her hat though. 
Is that a hat? It's an older looking type of hat, isn't it? There's a little like bow here, which didn't come through as good as it probably should have with the strap. Oh, this looks like a type of visor, doesn't it? I think her top of her head is supposed to be. Let's match. This is her hair back here, I think. This looks like a visor. So now I could change out the plates too and have gone with a totally different uh, color scheme. Now if I don't want, I mean, you're going to do a lot of changing here and moving things around and adjusting plates. Ooh, I don't want to do that. I want to change my angle. There we go. Because I really don't want texture on the tennis racket so I can take this out now. Okay. And then, here, I'll zoom in again. You kind of see, can you see the pattern on her shirt? See the little, the little stars there? That's a little star, and then the pants has that line pattern. So it's really up to you exactly how you want to design. And color. Okay. All right. There is number two. How about we do one more? I will keep going. I was going to take a break, but my breaks are just so that I can reset things up. That's done. Let's move everything out that's been done. Let's do a triple here. Mm, this looks like, does it look like that? Uh, I don't know. I kind of think this one looks nicer. I don't know. No, actually, this one looks better with this one, I think. And then let's pick up let's pick a head. And a hat. Okay. Put this on here. I'm sure some of you have played with this. Or have seen maybe the Barbie version. There is a Barbie. That I know. I have the Barbie one. I wonder if the plates are the same for the Barbie one as this. Like when Tommy originally came out with this, and then maybe Barbie said, "Hey, let's turn that into a Barbie version." Ooh, that's nice. All right. So they use the same plates. I'd have to check. I'd have to go grab. Now, I don't have to use the pattern that's on the back of that one. I can go grab a different pattern if I like this one, which I do. Let's say that one's done. Nice flowers. Or poofy things, whatever you want to call them. And I'll use that for the dress. Poofy things. I like that. And let's see if yellow shows through real nice. And you know what? You could use crayons to color, too, or markers if you want. You don't have to use pencils and you know of course you don't have to do all one color it's whatever you're whatever you want to do it's another one of those toys where it's totally up to the person doing it if I want to color outside the lines I'm gonna color outside the lines okay I'm using my left hand. Normally I'd be using my right hand, but it's on the left. I'm on the left side of the camera. It just seems to be easier right now. Okay, and then her legs. We will do a natural color. Now we don't want a pattern on her legs, do we? No, we do not. Here, let me switch to this side. Might be quicker and easier. And then I'll do this. How's that? Does that give you a nice look at her legs? Okay. And then around her neck. What do you think? Gotta have red lips though, right? 
How about orange lips? You get orange lips. There you go. And then let's do the top in this color here that I matched the pockets with. So, oops, pressed a little too hard. And I'm not fully like coloring in here. I'm just kind of lightly doing it. Okay, flowers, a little green, brighten things up here, and her hat. She's got a brown hat. It's a color I haven't used, so it doesn't match her outfit at all. And look, the texture of my tabletop is actually showing through now as a texture. And we will give her yellow hair. I really don't have any other colors. I just did the hat brown. Okay. Of course, there's tidying up you can do. All right. So there. You got to draw with me for my fashion plates. Again, this is from 1978. There's my three styles. I didn't finish coloring the first one, but you can see. What do you think? Pretty cool. Are you familiar with fashion plates? I bet you are. I bet you there's quite a few people, boys and girls, that have seen these before. And then everything just stores right back in its little spot. Then let me know in the comments. Piece of tape from the box. And as always, I appreciate you watching and supporting. Oh, look what I just found off to the side. Did I have this one out, the pretty blue? I don't think so. See, now that's the color I would have liked. Totally forgot about it. Oh, yeah, I used it on the first one, and I pushed it off to the side, and it didn't wind up back in my little collection. All right. If you're into, like, these older toys, then let me know in the comments. We're going to be doing... Some cool stuff coming up. Yeah, I'm going to be going, I think I'm going to do a bargain bin. I got a bin of novelty toys coming up that just uh, happened to be uh, in my area here. So I figured I'll do some of those from the 80s and then other cool stuff. So look in that description for a playlist for other vintage toys. Or as always, you can search the Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.